Well, it may be a new low even at this height. A man in the back bay shoveling snow off a roof and then dumping it on the roof next door. Days after parts of Boston got more than a foot of snow, there is still, as you can see, plenty to clean up. And in addition to those roofs, sidewalks are still covered. As Lisa Greshi tells us, the city is cracking down on those who fail to clear the snow and ice. You see it all the time where people are shoveling off of a balcony onto the balcony below. A viewer sent us this video. What appears to be someone shoveling snow from the top of one building only to throw it over to the next. I think right now, especially with how slippery it is, and I've seen a lot of people falling, it's important to be a little bit more of a better neighbor. The man who took this video says the person on the roof was originally throwing the snow over the top of the roof down at least three or four stories on to the sidewalk. I flipped the coin. Am I safer walking on a sidewalk where there's covered in snow and ice, or am I safer walking in the street where I know at least the pavement is clear? Kyle Robidoux, who is legally blind, has a tough time getting around the snow, especially when people don't shovel and it turns to ice. It's hard. It's right. By now, it's frozen over. And that's a big problem in this neighborhood. Since Monday, the city of Boston has issued 394 citations for failure to clear snow from the sidewalks. Not shoveling really impedes other people's access to our city infrastructure. In my commute home the other day, I counted, I hopped over four snowbanks. As much of a pain as it can be, this is New England. Since snow is something we know we all have to deal with, many feel cleaning it up should come just as easy. It would be a little nice to be a little, uh, you know, respect for your neighbors at the same time. Reporting in Boston, Lisa Greshi, WBC News.